Yo, so it's Friday. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get more uh, crafty, you know, crafty with. So it's Friday. I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, excited because uh, we get to the weekend. Um, I'm gonna start putting out better videos, man. Uh, better videos with better content, uh, with, uh, more substance to them. Uh, my last video, uh, I explained to you guys, like, I, I was real. I got open and honest with you guys, man. I've been, uh, I've been really, really falling. Uh, I've been in a, uh, slump as of late, and it's been a while, man. And it's time for me to come back and I need to get up out of the slump. I need to get back to doing what I do best and that's kicking ass and taking names. So with that being said, I have a little bit more, uh, uh, I'm going to try to start editing them a little bit better instead of just throwing them on, uh, YouTube, uh, and try to give a little bit better, you know, presentation to what I'm trying to do on this thing. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. Ugh. That moment where you need one more order to come through so you hit numbers and it doesn't happen. So. I need a haircut. Is that what you're cameoing? Hey, where are you at? Over here. I need a haircut. You and our son both. Yeah, but I like really need a haircut. My fro hawk now looks like I don't even know what that is. It's like a. It's like legitimately a mop. It's ridiculous, dude. Connor's coming. Connor's coming. Right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just sitting with me. I told you to wait until I'm done cleaning. Hmm. So, never a dull moment in my life. I went really, really hard yesterday during cardio and during work, and apparently I have injured myself in some way. I have to find out what's going on with my leg. So, good news is, looks like it's not my tendon. Bad news is, what else can it be? Uh, man, I'm really hoping I didn't hurt myself. So, long story short, after, uh, what, about an hour and a half? of hanging out in the hospital. Acute tendonitis. Uh, basically, I gotta take it easy. I gotta take some anti-inflammatories. So I'm gonna have to look for ways to get around some of the cardio stuff I do. Mm, at least for the time being. I don't know. I'm kinda tired now, man. Sitting in a hospital is boring and tedious and I'm not a fan. <laughs> See? Sorry, PDJ. There, we are being recorded multiply. We're double volume. A bit of a strange one in a way. Two W C W S you made for quite successful. How are you trying to lie to these people? I'm lying to my people too. I mean that's your problem. It's like, oh yeah, one of them wrestled. And one of them your people and my people can talk to each other. <laughs> I don't know, do I have you? How's that work? <laughs> this is what we do. This is, this is what we do. This is what she does. This is what we do. Well, you got a better angle, so I do that. I don't know. There you go. Why are you so weird? Yes. Super oh, she wants a fucking awkward <laughs> Super <laughs> <laughs> excited. Find him on YouTube. Superman Wonder Woman wife. <laughs> the existence of us. 
in the same universe is already funny. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> Are you done? Yeah, I'm okay. pretty excited to Let's be done. done. <laughs> so, <laughs> love how she's getting all snuggly with me right now. <laughs> I, I want like, you. I, I like want to you. Be in your video. I want you to see this. This is why I don't play golf, and when I do, I only do it for her because I hate it. He doesn't. I'm hate trapped it. in a fucking wall. He does enjoy it sometimes. He does. He does enjoy it sometimes. I'm gonna go in attempt to uh, knock the ball past the concrete it takes a stupid amount of eggs to feed my family I've learned this this morning and that's just getting started <laughs> So, I finally got my hair cut. Check this out. Can I look at me? It's kind of a little bit for mm. There you go. Ah. Father like son. <laughs> so they're out there playing with sparklers. Uh, I'm in here getting my uh, meal prep on. So, <laughs> pretty psyched. Kiki. Kiki.
want it more than you've ever wanted something in your whole fucking life. Want it more than you've ever wanted something in your whole fucking life. Man, solid training. <laughs> it was a really, really good arm day. Uh, my foot feels a lot better today. Um, I still took it light, like I only did half a mile uh, for a warm up, and I didn't do like the cool down half mile I normally do, so I could stay off my foot a little bit more than usual. So, uh, just taking it day by day at this point. Uh, I'm taping my uh, heel up pretty good. Um, I'm not quite sure if I completely covered what happened, uh, so I'm, I'll just recap real quick just in case I didn't catch it earlier on. Um, catch you guys up to speed. Uh, my heel's been bothering me for like, I don't know, maybe a month, month and a half. And uh, like it's been tolerable. Like I have a high pain tolerance. So for me, I can pretty much breeze through things that hurt. <laughs> it's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, from an athletic standpoint of view, but um, I've been coasting through my training anyway, and I've been pushing it really hard anyhow. Um, I don't know what I did differently Friday, but uh, Friday I did two and a half miles uh, for cardio, and I don't know, I, I overstressed uh, the situation with my heel and wound up having to go to the hospital over it because it, it hurt really, really bad Sunday, Saturday morning uh, to the point where it was really hard to even put weight on it. So, went to the hospital. They did all their uh, expensive tests. You know how they do. Uh, X-ray, ultrasounds, all that shit. Uh, made sure I didn't have any blood clots uh, and to see what's going on inside my foot. Um, everything came back negative, so they pretty much told me that I have like an acute tendonitis in my heel. Um, basically, I have planter's foot. Um, if you don't know what planter's foot is, you can Google it. Uh, basically, to sum it up, I put a lot of like a lot of uh, pressure and hit into my heel every time I walk or. Uh, whatever, which makes sense because when I deadlift or when I uh, when I do uh, snatches or cleans or anything, you know, you you put the base of the weight on your heel. I mean, you attempt to uh, balance, but it's not the simplest thing. Um, when I deadlift, I dig my heels into the ground pretty hard, uh, so I'm not shocked by this. So right now it's anti-inflammatories and uh, tape. I'm taping the ever-loving crap out of my heel to give it some extra support because um, basically I wore out the um, the skin or, or the muscle between my Achilles heel and my heel bone. Um, that that thick piece of muscle that attaches it to the bone, I've I've aggravated it pretty heavy. So that's where that stands. I'm gonna kill the rest of my uh, shake and go about my day. Man, Monday's going fast. I feel like I don't know. Watch it start slowing down when I get to work. So on my way to work obviously um, something that I, I've kind of have realized over the past few days I have a really fucking awesome support system man um, and what I mean by that like I'm not I'm not trying to talk Julie up uh, but man, she is there for me in so many ways that most people aren't. Um, and you know, I talk about having a really solid support system. I talk about having a really, really firm support system 
so that you have somebody to basically put you in check when you need to be. Uh, yesterday, she kind of put me in check. She reminded me uh, just how badass I am. And not only just how badass I am, but uh, how no matter what's going on in this life, she's got my back. And sometimes, I, I, I'm telling you, like, hearing those words come from somebody uh, make all the difference, man. Uh, like I said in a couple videos back, I've been down and out, dude. I've, I've been struggling as of late in my head, and I feel like I'm out of that now, and uh, for a lot of reasons, but like today I feel it, man. I feel, I feel amazing. Uh, I feel like I can, I can take the world on again. And that's why I'm telling you it's very, very important to have a good, strong support system. Because if you don't, when you get into those down and outs, when you get to those places where you don't know if you can make it through, having that person that's going to tell you, hey, you can do this shit, just get it together and go. That, that makes all the difference sometimes. Um, I know this is kind of a repeat message because I've talked about support systems in the past. Uh, I've probably done at least two other videos on it, and I guess it's just because it's that important that I feel like it's okay to repeat this message. I really feel like it's all right for me to go out here and repeat that you need to have that strong support system, that you need to have somebody uh, be there and and have your back in those times that you don't know how you're going to manage. Um, I'm very blessed uh, to have that at my fingertips. I'm very, very blessed. So uh, go out there, man, and get yourself a support system. Uh, find somebody that can be an accountable source of support for you. And once you have it, man, don't let it go. Uh, and be a support system for others. Um, you know, those kind of things aren't meant to be selfish. You're not supposed to be selfish in that. You're supposed to uh, put out what you want to receive, right? Like, I talk about that energy you put out into the universe. That's what you want back, right? So put that back out into the universe and get it, get, you know, reap the benefits of it. Um, I think that's it, man. Uh, I'm going to start shooting for the next video and start uh, getting some more content put together for the next video. <sighs> this vlogging thing, it's a lot of work. <laughs> totally okay, though. Uh, I hope that my videos serve you guys. I hope that you find hope and advice and some sort of... Uh, okayness and the fact that you're not alone in the struggles you're dealing with. <sighs> now